after seeing the last pick, I prefer PSG LGD a little bit. I know it's kind of like a cop out with how I was going earlier. You've got a okay kill potential of the heroes on uh, PSG LGD, but everyone on Astro is just so tanky, it feels impossible to bring them down. So they're probably not even going to try. Bottom, all comes out. Yeah. Well, they're going to go get this first blood kill off. Ooh, that's while Mid was getting attacked by Yi. You were thinking that Y had gotten like all the farm and he was level seven. Yeah, you know, 24% <laughs> damage share. Big, big, big damage share. All right, Y is going to have none of the farm. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that that's that's not fun. Also, the problem now is he gets to spot these stacks. So they really need to go and defend these because these are all for the alchemist. And that's exactly what Ami is going to do. He's going to go and spot Yi, walk into a, basically a trap because that's going to be the ulti from the Dawnbreaker, the Solar Guardian. And with the Celestial Hammer, he still ends up dead. And now the stacks are theirs. Here's my bill for your future inspection on your teeth. Here's the candy bar. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's uh, take a look at uh, Spectre. That one's been... Oh, no, we don't have to get an opportunity uh, to. Ame again Mr. in Goodbar. some trouble. And yeah, 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 yeah they planned this not? one. They... That feels pretty good. Okay, they planned this one. Did you see where TK was standing? Oh, oh no. The 90 degree shackle. It always feels good. But they only get one out of it. What? You know what? Not that great for LGD. Way better for Aster Ares. Technically not tankier, but 15% of Asian semantics tankier, maybe, I'm, well, you know, kind of tankier Plus the if 10 you're missing your chance. shots. Yeah, if Plus you're missing your chance. shots, kind of a tank. Going after Tiny real quick, but here comes the Dawnbreaker with a heal, and it was like a five-man stun kind of coming through on LGD. But it's not really going to matter much just yet, but the overgrowth is really well placed. They still get E, they still get the Dawnbreaker of SS, but Ame falls, Red Panda's dead, three heroes gone to the side of Aster Ares as Ulu with a double damage. Uh, that may not be the place you want to be there, Ulu, because they're saying Ulu, not Ulu. <laughs> they'll get the kill on everybody, LGD with a full five-man team wipe. So you'd say the execution was about 50-50? Yeah. <laughs> you win or you don't. Okay. Radiance bottom it was crazy. They just played it the exact same way every single game and how well it worked. TK in some trouble. Aether Remnant lands. That lines up the spear. Overgrowth committed on this. They've got the arena. Here comes the Dawnbreaker. And will slam down on these heroes with the Starbreaker, but it's just not enough damage yet. Celestial Hammer should burn out Faith Beyond. They do, in fact, get nothing to say away. I don't know if they really wanted that trade if you're LGD. Uh, support for a core. Uh, to get the overgrowth out though so controlling the next fight if they want to go again real quickly might end up working in their favor i say that but ame stunned himself the toss is there and he just dies nothing to say we're gonna clean up with the bkb being popped here by ss they've got the shard working ame meanwhile just rubbing his hands together and saying yes please fight <laughs> up top my farm all bottom thanks <laughs> Yes, continue, little people. <laughs> and they'll still get one. They get Yi. That's the big one to grab, at least for now. TK in some trouble. The Celestial Hammer forward. The Starbreaker out onto Y. Uwu right clicks him down. And it ends up being a trade. And again, Ame still grabbing more gold. I think if they, the smoke? they're not, they're not no. feeling the pressure from Master Areas at all, right? Like, why force Roche, I guess, when you don't feel it necessary and you can just go for the items and you know Ame's kind of got the farm down pat at the moment? Both teams are going to smoke. Ame is going to be the one in between this tug of war, potentially. And there's the blink as well as the avalanche coming through with the telekinesis, but they've got the Solar Guardian coming down out onto these heroes. They've got the arena down. They'll take out Yi. The Starbreaker's not going to be enough. They have the damage to get the kill on the right panel. They'll take out Uwu. And now SS trying to get away with that Celestial Hammer. Gets onto the high ground, but here's Faith Beyond. He's got the God's Rebuke. He'll land the spear onto the trees. There's the unstable concoction being thrown over onto the Dawnbreaker. Shackle to follow it up with the power shot. Jinku gets the kill and nothing to say. Takes out TK. It's a full team wipe. They've lost nothing. And so Rubik just ends up stealing Bulwark there. Gives him nothing extra to work with. They've got excellent team coordination in LGD. Like, no doubt about that. They don't give uh, Asta Ares the opportunity to, you know, punish them for nothing to say. Nobody's to that tower. Yeah. Ooh, I see that avalanche. 
comes in. They've got the Solar Guardian falling through. Y ends up dead. Shackle comes out. JinQ trying to help out Ame. Ame, he ends up getting a kill on a TK. The Dawnbreaker forced to run, so SS goes out, and the rest of the team starting a retreat. Bottom tier three, that's gonna fall. He has the BKB, he's rebuilt into the Echo Saber. They're gonna look for the Telekinesis. They've got the Starbreaker that lands on it too. They're charging up the Unstable Concoction. They don't have the damage to get the kill. Nothing to say just yet. The Unstable Concoction thrown over onto Uwu. With the BKB being popped by Ame, he's just able to run through these heroes at the moment. The Overgrowth comes in, but it's gonna be Red Panda falling after Yi. So Aster Ares can only just watch as LGD invade their base. They, well, they look at Ame who stunned himself with the Unstable Concoction and they've charged one up of their own. Uh, they throw it. It's only on the two. Here comes the Dawnbreaker once again. SS in with Starbreaker. Has the Celestial Hammer, but the sun comes out from Ame. The damage is starting to follow it up. They have a lot of it. The Gale Force is going to be thrown. They got the GG call already. They try to finish off Uru. They'll be successful in doing so and successful in taking game one. LGD wiped the floor with Aster Ares in this first one. Ah, solid performance uh, out of them. I'm not surprised I've seen the draft uh, in PSG LGD, they executed it very well. Um, so they will be able to, to fall back on that, and Death Prophet can kind of secure them objectives, even though it does less damage to towers now. Um, it forces people away from you when you press it ultimate, so you can take things. However, I think PSG LGD are going to run them over. And oh my god, they're starting now. Avalanche on three, they're going to go right in onto the CK. Ame gets first blood, and that's not where you want to be if you're Aster Ares. Yeah? How's your mana bar, though? Low. I need arcane uh. boots and then a wraith pact. <laughs> yeah, instead of a golden, you oh, wow. a wraith pact. A lot you. of damage on Aame, and they are going to get this kill with ease. And that is the power that I talked about with a tusk in your lane. And I guess you get that little bit of a boost when you've got the reality rift, you've got that armor reduction, and then the uh, stun coming in as well. So good job there by Aster Ares to get that kill, especially because Ame got first blood up in the top lane, though. Unstable Concoction thrown over onto Faith Beyond. Ooh, taking a lot of damage and will end up dead. Faith Beyond getting that kill. So both carries dying. Uh, I'm Nothing. glad I'm providing internet, uh, entertainment, not to just the viewers, but also you, B-Cup. And to the internet, as you were going to say. Entertainment yeah. to the internet. Inter internet entertainer. Stop lane, static link, avalanche comes out. Ooh, no, getting turned on. And maybe he doesn't want to be there because Zeus ult now. Thunder God's Wrath comes down and strikes Uwu down. Yeah, I think being Uwu... the mighty smiter. Yeah, I think Uwu realized uh, what was happening there, like part way through. Oh, mid lane. And he might be in a little bit deep. Ame's here. They will get the kill on to Y, but if he doesn't get out, it's certainly not the best trade. You got the Lucent Beam. They have the extra damage from nothing to say, and it is more than enough to get the kill. I think it uh, only gets worse as uh, this Luna begins to ramp up. She does need like a... Uh... Actually, I'm not sure a BKB will help, but it won't be like the end all be all uh, this game. In fact, they're setting up on a Luna here. And yeah, gonna try and go for Ame as the rest of the team heads towards Uwu. Looks like it's gonna be a trade in carries, and it will be at the mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. They commit exorcism for this one. Yi pings out the tier one tower over here. We'll yep. see how... Uh... How it ends up going because they are wrapping around on faith beyond and they are going to pinch i don't think yeah, anybody's going to be there for as well yeah he's faith beyond just dead he's going to know they smoked for this morris punches in faith beyond on the run throws a primal roar but again nobody coming over they still haven't gotten the kill yet eventually the crypt swarm flies in from me and they do end up getting the kill so would be able to scout out anybody and throw like an avalanche toss out in order for Luna to be able to get away. And the Beastmaster was shoving and placing his units in such a way where it would have scouted any rotations onto him if they didn't smoke up. Uh, so he knows that Ooh, they, they rotated again. onto him with the smoke there. Avalanche toss, they have Zeus going in, Thunder God's Wrath, and I'm gonna say he's on a, a mega kill streak. They have just not been able to get into the face of this Zeus, of course. Considering they have someone like the CK who does want to go. He does want to go on nothing to say this time. And he's got a reality rift, but here comes the chaotic offering and you've been baited. That was the, the target that they wanted, but unfortunately not the target that they're going to get. They'll toss the <laughs> Zeus on a TK, get a three pointer and uh, now look to take this bottom tier one. And it's looking like he might die here. Goes to the pig pole and is successfully able to run. As I was saying, you know, when you have a chance to use it, especially with a claustrophobic fight like that, 
you can just go to the Thunder God's Wrath and get something out of it. TK is going to go down here to Ame, Silver the Tier 1 mid. Again, they've got a lineup for this. This Luna is like the crown on super aggressive lineups. They've got the Beastmaster as well, who's got the Humley Overlord finish. Look how quickly they're taking Roshan right now. Oh, oh God, Red God. Panda. Are going to find a kill on a Red Panda while they take I the himself. Roshan? Everything is going right for them. There it is. Blank Day is completed on Tiny at the exact same time as well. Uh, yeah, it's max damage is a difference of 70. But truthfully, I, I, th I think that's negligible enough where you can have that extra point in the Greeble's Green and be doing something a little bit more with it, right? Red Panda caught again, tossed over to Faith Beyond. Doesn't even need the Primal Roar. It's a quick kill on the support Alchemist. Yeah, I believe that's the Blink Dagger reveal. Um, no, I don't. I mean, they probably saw we it. But he, I'm pretty sure. I'm oh pretty my! Sure no ways in Q gets away. There's line. no ways in Q gets away with this. There is just. He no. might. He's got a toss to the rest of his team. They used the clips for that. This Death Prophet has a BKB completed in nine seconds. I'm not sure you can fight into these heroes even with the BKB. You so. Like, here's the big issue. You've never even gotten out first, Ags. And there it is again. Blink toss. Red Panda, you just, you just alive. And you were just dead a second ago. I think they take the base. Anyways, how do you turn this into something right now? Death Prophet needs to walk all the way back. Half the duration of Exorcism is already expended at this point. And you have these illusions super, sitting super far back in the base, scouting this one out. This force is supposed to smoke in order to get close to them. And it might work. They're going to go in, but the Chaotic Offering on the floor with the Primal Roar on top of it. They have the wall where a bunch of hits on the Jinky, but it's not going to do anything. They get the gun to TK. They'll look over at you. They'll take out a second. And here comes the rest of your base going down. The whole base will explode because, well, Aster Ares, they've called GG. LGD just 20 minutes into the game have taken game two and the series. Steamrolling this series over Aster Ares. 20 minutes. I was expecting fast, but not this fast.